Hey guys, Strong Style Studio is back again. It's Alex. And it's me, Noah. I am your Strong Style Studio champion, reigning defending champion. I think this is my, like, my third reign or whatever. I'm going for the Ric Flair record. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we're here with another episode of Running the Ropes. I think this is number 20, 20 or 19 or whatever. So we're almost allowed to drink on the show. Yeah, we're almost there. <laughs> almost legal. Okay, uh, we got to talk about TLC and the build up going into that show, including the Unified Championship match, which. Uh, that's an interesting thing to talk about. Um, the whole the final battle for Ring of Honor, which is coming up pretty soon, the whole Davey Richards scenario, uh, Roderick Strong, and a little bit of AEW again, you know. So let's start things off with the uh, thing that really everyone's talking about right now, which is uh, TLC, uh, which is coming up in two weeks, I think, or next week. Next week? Oh, I, I, think, I think it's the I think it's the week after. Yeah, that. I think it is. Yeah. So um, yeah, where the, where the main event is John Cena. And Randy Orton in a TLC match for the unified WWE Championship or whatever they're calling it. Now I've heard that WWE has been really careful about what they have been calling this match because they're still not sure if they want to unify them. But the thing is, the, on Raw, like they made it clear, like there will be one champion after you know. After right, but the thing is, like that could mean like one dude. <laughs> that is the two champions. Yeah, that's that's a good point. So, I, I don't know. I, now, it's, I think that I'm hoping that they, the thing they just is, bite the bullet and do it. The, the thing is, like, on Raw, they had, like, on the WWE app, like, what do you think the new champion should be named? You know, like, they're... Right. So, I think they're doing it. I hope it. they do. I hope they do. Which... But the thing is, don't be shocked if they don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I am totally ready for, like, some kind of screwed up finish. There's, like, talks of, like, both guys just winning the different belts. which is like, why the fuck would you do yeah, that? Yeah, that's the thing. They need to... They're, they're, that's what I'm worried is they're going to throw in like a stipulation like you have to take down both belts. Yeah. Or okay. like, this this is a match where you there's no there's no way to but there needs to be one winner done. Yeah. That'd Otherwise, be a slap in the face. It, it, oh yeah. I'm we'll, you know we're used to it by now. After the last, last four papers. Months. Yeah. After the last four papers, I'm ready for a slap in my face. I'm just like I'm putting my fucking cheek out there, ready for Bring it. it. You know, it's like you know, get, yes sir, may I have another sir? You know, but. Uh, this is probably an obvious answer here, but who do you think is going to win? Probably Cena. I mean, it's got to be right. <laughs> Orton can't have that title. It, it, Orton, or, wrist, dude, it's, it's, book. the thing is, like, on, on Raw, I know you didn't watch it, but, like, Cena basically <laughs> said, like, Randy Orton, you came in and you were, like, you were a gifted athlete, you were considered one of the best athletes, and then you got lazy, and it's like, he fucking nailed the hammer right there. Right. The thing is, though, like, Cena comes out and says it, Brian comes out and says it, the guy's still the main event. He's still holding the belt. And like, he's still fucking lazy. Who's not... Why Why aren't the booking team paying attention? Why don't they notice <laughs> this? I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, it's like... I, 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 I'm I, not the biggest John Cena fan, but I, I like him a lot more Randy, than Randy Orton because Cena actually goes out there with some fire underneath his ass once in a while. You know, every once in a while, has some good matches every once in a while. And, you know, legitimately looks like he's out there trying to have fun. Orton looks out, goes out there and looks like he's pissed off all the time. Right. And the thing is, Cena... He gets a lot of heat. Um, and people it, call him the Hogan of today. But yeah. The difference between him and Hogan is that Cena's been booked like this. Yeah. And Hogan made it happen. Yeah. It had to happen his way. It, Only going to work this way. And Cena's, you know, multiple times have tried to get guys over. Like, he's right. trying to get Biggie Langston. He was one of the guy who, like, pushed to get Brian the belt. Mm -hmm. Or, like, you know, pushed to lose the belt because he had to go for surgery or whatever. Right. Um, and also, like, one thing I always like about Cena is, like, you know, people boo him. He just shrugs it off and just like, whatever, you know, like that's, that's their decision, they can do that. Or he gets booed, or like it's like fans yelling, he'll like flip them off, or he'll get in their face. Oh, he you know. just cries about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. He a fit. He, he's a whiny little bitch, you know. But, uh... So, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'd rather have seen, I'd rather have seen him win the belt, and then, best case scenario, maybe him and Dana Bryan at WrestleMania. I'm terrified rematch. to see a, a rematch of these two at Mania, really. That's scary. Or no Cena. God. Um, Listen, and we talked about this on our review for Survivor Series. This is 2013. We had to deal with these guys feuding for all of 2008, basically. Most of 2009, we're done. You've, you've, you've done everything you can with these guys. There's nothing left for these guys to do together. Mm -hmm. Why is no one else in the ball? Why isn't CM Punk in, like CM Punk, the longest reigning WWE champion of all time? Like, why isn't he, isn't he involved in this? You know? Yeah, well, he has been really just 
Well, the, the one thing Rush is, like, I, I heard he's, like, still, like, fighting some injuries. I'm sure he's still banged up. Yeah, so, yeah. like, they're kind of, like, trying to take him easy, you know, and, like, just to get to WrestleMania, I guess, maybe. But, you know. um, since you mentioned, uh, Punk, the rest of the TLC card is very disappointing. Yeah, okay, well, yeah, um, well, first of all, we got Damien Sandow versus Big E Langston for the IC title, which... That should be good. That should be good, I'm, I'm looking is, for... Is that's not a table... They have announced a stipulation for that, yeah. Okay. Um... And then we have two three-on-one handicap matches. Brian versus the Wyatt family, and CM Punk versus the Shield. What? Yeah, why? Yeah. The uh, thing is, these the Shield has proven they can beat any three people. Yeah. So why, it's how a, am I ever going to believe that Daniel Bryan can win? Even CM if he Punk, wins. CM Punk's facing the Shield. Oh. Brian's well, facing the Wyatt family. Regardless, yeah. how am I supposed to believe Punk can win? I'm really hoping that this is just like... A red herring, and then they're gonna add two more guys to each ma match, whatever, to make a, a three on three match, which I would really like because I don't mind the Wyatt family in a six on six. I don't mind or a three on three, and I don't mind the Shield. Shield in a in a three on three on three match has That's like awesome. proven to be like the best matches every single episode of Raw. Mm -hmm. You know, even uh, this past Monday where they had, which was um, Cody Rhodes and Goldust, and God, I don't remember who the other guy was. They, oh, Big Show. You know, they got a good match on the big show. Wow. You know, but, but it's just, you know, I don't I don't like handicap matches. I don't like handicap matches on t television. I sure as hell am going to like them on paper. No, they don't do anything for anybody. No, they, they don't. don't. They don't elevate anybody. You know, unless unless you're going to have Daniel Bryan and Simplin go over, which is just going to make the, 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 the three-man team look like jabronis. Yeah, like if three guys can't beat one, yeah. you, you just look like idiots. Exactly. So this is just, it's not going to do anyone any favors. So I, I really hope they change it up a little bit, you know. And it wouldn't be the first time they 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 did something like that, and you know I don't it just like. Feels it feels like a lot of talent that could be used. Yeah. How, how about how about like you know the road the roads and CM Punk versus the Shield? That'd be a good fan. That could be a good match. And, right. uh, or even split up the Shield. Have a have it uh, Punk versus Reigns. Or Punk or versus Dean Ambrose. Or that'd be Seth a Rollins. cream dream. But uh, <laughs> yeah. let's be serious okay. here for a minute. Um, and they also got Natalia taking on AJ for the Divas title. I couldn't care less. They had her job again, and just, you know, just like again, I just don't get this fucking thing. Like I'm supposed to be cheering for the total divas when all their show is them looking like total bitches. Right. I don't. I just don't understand. Like I don't get it. Do, God, are there fans? I mean, does are there fans that show up to the wrestling shows that are also fans of Total Divas? You'd be you'd be shocked how many people on Twitter love that show. Like people that like LV loves that show. Like, a lot of guys that are, like, legitimate, like, IWC reviewers actually watch that like, show. I guess I can't, to be fair, I've only seen parts of one episode. Yeah. I mean, that was enough to shoo me off, but I I don't want to judge anybody else uh, I, about that. And again, but the thing is, like, are, it, does it translate? Like, are these guys tuning in and cheering on the Total Divas? Like, no, they, 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 watch, they, like, they, they watch it just kind of like the laugh. Brie fans? Like, are no. they all Brie tards or something? Like, <laughs> That's a good term. <laughs> Trademark. <laughs> we will you that one. <laughs> Um, I don't know, they, but they watch it like, and I think it's just because like it's wrestling, and you know. And, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, but I don't know, and I, I think a lot of them just watch it because like they got nothing better to watch, maybe. Because it, it sounds like at the arena, AJ's the most over. Oh, AJ, of course, is the most over because she's, you know, one drop dead gorgeous, two probably the best wrestler they got right now, and three actually has a fucking personality. True. So yeah, why wouldn't they like her? That's yeah. yeah. And the, the fact that but the thing is, they want her to be the heel. The, the crowd doesn't want her to be the heel. They want they don't like the, the total divas. Yeah, okay. and it's funny because the commentators are like, "Oh, they don't like the way Eva Marie's been acting on total." No, they don't like nobody her. cares about that. They don't like her because she sucks. They don't, like, they don't like her because she can't fucking wrestle. <laughs> She's a dumb bitch. You know that's the reason they don't like her. Uh, it's too funny. You know, God, yeah, they they could they could try to make it all like, oh, they don't like it because of the total divas. like bullshit. They don't like them because they're. They're they're poor, they're useless. <laughs> they're horrible. The WWE, the WWE Divas roster is a joke. They need to like they could cut like half the Divas ro off that roster. Probably more. Probably more. And like I think I, I count like maybe like I think I got like maybe like six or seven that actually can wrestle. Maybe you know, like AJ, Natalia, Tamina can wrestle. Summer Rae, um, JoJo isn't ba isn't bad. I heard, and I'm I'm willing to give her a shot. The Bella Twins actually are. Better than them now. Don't now. I know. This. But yeah, but they're not. Who actually surprised me in the, in a match? I don't know if it was Monday or if it was at Survivor Series. Was uh, 
Oh, who's the girl that Brian really liked? The old cheerleader, the black girl who's like, uh, used to be a cheerleader. Oh, uh, Cameron. No. No, Naomi. Naomi. No, neither one of them, but anyway. Oh, that's Funka Dango? No, she, nobody knows who she is. But she looked good. She looks athletic. She looks like she's uh, oh, wait, come along. Wait, uh, Alicia Fox? Yeah, she's oh, actually oh, better. I thought you meant been Daniel Bryan. I thought, I'm like, wait, oh, no, you meant Bryan or Buddy, okay. Yeah, yeah, Alicia Fox is, you know, just, again, like, just, I, I don't, like, she's just been there for so long, it's like, you know, you should be, be better right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. That's you know? But, like, meanwhile, they're down in NXT, there's plenty of talented wrestlers, like, uh, Emma is pretty good, and Paige is awesome. Yeah, I'm surprised it's taking this long. Well, she's 21, and they want to, you know, if they're young, they like to keep, they like it's to probably a good idea, be on the road. And... Well, the thing is, she's been a wrestler for years, like, she was, she was in sure. Shimmer with her mom, so it's like, she knows what she's doing on the road, you know, she's sure. been a wrestler for years, so... Whatever. Well, I'm sure people uh, are tired of hearing us talk about the divas. Yeah, and that's about the longest we've ever. Sorry about that. That's the longest we're going to talk about, probably. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, but TLC uh, not looking shape, living up to be a great pair, which is surprising because it usually is. But right. Again, we could be wrong and we could be pleasantly surprised, but uh, not holding, right now with WWE, we're not holding our breath with anything, and uh, we're just we're ready for Rumble and uh, for the WrestleMania build to begin because that's always fun. Yeah, the only thing is I'm worried a little bit of, of who's going to be in what match. Yeah, that's, that's that's concerning me too because like usually by now you have a clear, a kind of clear idea like who's going to be where and who's going to be doing what and this year it's just kind of like who the fuck's going to know. Yeah, I don't think they know. Oh, no, they don't and that's the, that's the problem is like they're constantly rewriting shit. And I've heard rumors of uh, possible Hulk Hogan Tag team with Josh Cena. Oh my God. Oh, I, I'm, please God. Please don't do that to us. Listen, I have no problem with Hulk Hogan showing up and you know doing a little pose, ripping the shirt off, whatever. It'll be fun, and the crowd, and you know, we'll probably be like, yeah, that's pretty cool, you know. But to see Hogan wrestle doesn't need to happen. No, please don't let that happen. No, let him, let him, let him do the you thing and punch the guy. Maybe, yeah. Maybe do a leg drop if his hips can handle it, you know. Right. But don't let him put him in the fight. All right, moving on now to ROH. They got their final battle, pay-per-view coming up pretty soon. Well, not pay-per-view, whatever show you want to call it these days because they don't do pay-per-views anymore, which still pisses me off. Um, we got the main event, which is Jay Briscoe, Adam Cole, and Michael Evans for the ROH World title, which is probably going to be the best match on the card. Uh, yeah, this I'm interested in seeing I'm really, I'm, that's going to be good. I mean, I'm not watch. usually big on three-way matches, but I think when you when you elevate them like that, and it's a match that makes sense mm -hmm. and that people want to see I think it'll work out. I think it's gonna work out very well. Um, Red Dragon taking out uh, taking on Outlaw Inc., which uh, that should be interesting. That should be interesting. I don't know. Like, I don't I'll, know if it's final battle. It's yeah, quality, but like the thing is, it's Eddie Kingston and Homicide in New York, so that's probably gonna. Yeah. Get, you know. Plus, I haven't seen Eddie since he returned, and he was awesome when he left. So I don't want to get down on yeah. it too much. And I, I've been watching some of his AEW stuff. He's he's a good heel. He's you know. Yeah, and the thing is, he's one of the best storytellers yeah. in the business. So I think when you give him you give him the right. Right ring and the right time. I think they're gonna and Adam Cole and Bobby Fish. I mean, come or not Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. Yeah, those guys are on the those top guys, of their game. They're right awesome. Um, Tave, Matt Taven defending the TV title against Tommaso Ciampa, which I'm ready to see Tommaso Ciampa just murder someone. Yeah, I'd love to see him take the belt and be just a dominant champion. Yeah, really. I think he's one of the guys that could really elevate. The I think belt. so, and uh, I think I hope to see him have a long reign, and uh, I want to see him like destroy or Martin with a move or whatever. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. I, I'm not expect, I'm expecting just a slaughter. Uh, Mark Briscoe taking on Silas Young in a strap match. Uh, not crazy about the stipulation, but I like Silas Young getting booked for more shows. Yeah, I really like we, him. And uh, I'm just hoping that this feud with Mark Briscoe eventually leads to him feuding with Jay Briscoe. Because I like to see what those two can do together. Yeah, that'd but, be great. Man up versus the last real man. That's good. Man, yeah, books itself. I mean, two brawlers, really. Two, like, two veterans and two old school wrestlers. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. Um... Michael Bennett taking on Kevin Cena in a stretcher match where the loser can no longer use a, use the pile driver. Looks like you're gonna lose, Mike, because there's right. no way in hell they're gonna take it. That's what them. I'm thinking. Yeah. So, but that could be good. I mean, that could be. You know, it's and another one of those that I'm not blown away by. No, but like again, like uh, I think Trademark did a video recently where we talked about like you know Michael Bennett and like kind of the ROH right now, and like he's kind of pointing out like Bennett came in with Ch with Champa, Adam Cole, and Kyle O'Reilly. And of the four, he's the only one that really hasn't impressed yet. You know I mean? Right. And the thing is, though, looking back, we all knew that going yeah. forward. Like, he was, wasn't was the guy that stood out then, no. and he's not now. And The problem is, I, and this isn't really a problem with him, it's just like he wrestles WWE style matches, which, you know, if it was in WWE, that'd be great, but he's in Ring of Honor where it's just like that stuff doesn't really work with the crowds. Right. And the thing is, 
I'm not. I don't hate him. I don't think that he's totally doesn't have a place, but he doesn't have a place as just a wrestler. He needs a story. Yeah. He needs. If if he's gonna be a heel, he needs to be out there. Be the reason. Yeah, and and not just cutting generic heel promos on the on the hometown crowd. Right. That's just that's not enough. Yeah. He's got to be going after the guys that represent what the fans like. I think. And that's kind of the reason I like this whole thing with him and Kenzine and just now. They haven't really given a good reason for the storyline. I don't even know what the hell it is, but just whatever. Well, I'm willing to see what they can do. Mm. I think that that's a big problem with Final Battle this year is it just feels like another, another show. show. Yeah, I agree. Um, Young Bucks taking on Adrenaline Rush. Looking forward to that. That should be good. Um, and I, That should be awesome. That should be awesome. I'm I mean, that. Young Bucks, you know. <laughs> yeah. We're always friends of the Young Bucks, baby. Oh, yeah. yeah. Super Kick City. I'm, I want to see what they can do with ACH. And, that's going to uh, be awesome. Yeah, that's going to be really awesome. And uh, the last match they've announced so far is uh, Roger Strong and Jay Lethal teaming up to take on Eddie Edwards and a mystery partner, which was originally supposed to be Dave Richards, but uh, due to Dave Richards' comments where he basically said the ROH titles are useless and the company isn't the same as, yeah. as good as it used to be and all this. Which is kind of true, but except, I don't I agree But the thing is, if you, he should be an ambassador for the company. Yeah. You're not supposed to be out there bashing Listen. when they're pay, signing your paychecks. Exactly. We love Davey. We think Davey's a great he's wrestler. He's awesome. He's a great he wrestler. He really is. Absolutely. The problem with Davey is, he's kind of an asshole. Kind of. He, yeah. he, you know, he just doesn't, he doesn't have a filter in his mouth. He, he, does, he needs a PR guy, basically. Basically, yeah. You know. Um, and I think there's definitely a part of Davey that sees wrestling as more of a business sometimes. I think, he, yeah, he, he's kind of like Loki, where he takes wrestling very, very seriously, and if you offend him in any, in any way, shape, or form, he's going to be outspoken and he's going to say something about it, you know what I mean? I don't know if it's to that degree. I think that he just, you know, he's going to go where he's going to get paid at this point in his career, and if he's having problems with a certain promotion and he doesn't like the way he's treated, he doesn't care, because he doesn't have to. He, he he is a top guy in the yeah, independence. Yeah, I agree. He knows that he can go anywhere right now. Yeah, that's true. That's true. He and uh, I don't think he's necessarily carries himself as an asshole all the time. I think he no. can be one. But, I, I think, uh, I think he, he has, like, asshole streaks. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> Ooh, that bad word. Oh, <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> he has asshole. He has mean streaks. Let's say that. That's good. That's better. That's better. <laughs> Like okay. there's there's a one after he lost the belt to Kevin Sting where he kind he kind of had a mean streak for a while. Yeah, um, he's just uh, and there was a time with the independent promotion where they said he left or he stuck him up or something. Well, like that. yeah, that, that was a whole story like where like they screwed him over with like. Some, yeah, it's some, just it was, um, another instance where PR yeah. is not the best for him. No, but in this case. It doesn't look that great on ROH either. No, and I agree. Like, and you know, I don't blame him for not wanting to Davey, but it's like, you know, you should be just saying like, well, listen, the fans want him there. They want to say goodbye. Let's book him for the show. It's one match. Exactly. Look, one one match, then you're gone. And the thing is, like, it's not. I understand you don't want to pay him, but like, it's not about the payday. Like, we the yeah. fans came there to pay to see. And him. also, just 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 ask Eddie. Like, Eddie, just keep a keep a leash on him. You know. Keep him out of trouble and just, you know, we'll be, we'll be done with this, you know? Yeah, exactly. That would have been that, You know, but again, I don't blame them for, like, not wanting a guy who basically shit on the company right. at a and show. The, you know, I a lot of people are up in arms about the this with the way ROH has handled it. And I don't like it, like I've just said. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, you look back in the history of wrestling, how many guys just leave? Like, you don't... Yeah, ROH is one of the few companies exactly anywhere they, they, they that always would give like, a send off. They, they, they do always do big send off. I mean, like back in the day, like during the like two thousand six, two thousand seven era, you know, like they'd have whole shows just dedicated to a guy leaving. Right. You know? The only thing that I mean, but there has been instances where they, I w wish they would have done more for yeah. the Kings. And, That's but this is one of those instances. The American Wolves. I think that this should happen, and it should have happened, and it's yeah. unfortunate that all this BS is gonna. Eclipse it. Yeah, especially because I, I still think Eddie and Davey have matches they could have, and you know. But again, you know, wishing the best, and they're going to WWE. I mean, like that's great for those guys, especially Eddie. I think Eddie deserves it more than Davey, even in a lot of ways. I think. Yeah, I think Eddie. I mean, yeah, I mean Eddie just. Eddie's, he really, Ed, Eddie's always been taken for granted. I think. Yeah, he's definitely underrated to this day. To Probably, this, he will he, always be. Yeah, he's, I think that if the the Wolves go to WWE, he'll be underrated there too. I think so. Um, I'm just, I'm going to concern, like, Davey, you know, you better be careful in WWE, because if you, you know, mouth off to the wrong people, 
they're gonna ship your ass home. Right. I mean, you know? Hero knows. Oh yeah, you know. Well, the, that, 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 that that whole thing I think was blown up proportion. Like apparently, like he like people are like you know like wait he complained like bullshit he he doesn't blame anyone like so whatever. Um, but yeah, like here's a guy like I can attest to like you know like it doesn't take much. No, exactly. And the, you know, and the thing is with WWE nowadays, like everyone wants to go to WWE right now, and like they're seeing top guys from the Indies getting pushed to the moon. Right, and they see that they re they could reach over to. Japan right now, they I think they've realized that they can go and yeah. pretty much get almost anybody they want. Yep. And so, so the talent pool is so big these days. Yeah, exactly. And uh, it get, getting bigger and bigger, it seems like. Mm -hmm. you know, time for WWE to start cutting some people, though. But, uh, yeah, we're going to miss Eddie and Davey um, from ROH. I mean, two, uh, two legends, I'd say. Mm -hmm. you and know. you know what's awesome? We got to see one of his farewell matches. Yes, we did. Um, yeah, we, we, we haven't talked about that, but uh, we went to the Dearborn show, which, which featured... Eddie Edwards versus Jay Lethal, which was a very, very fun match. Yeah, awesome. That was great. Um, Davey versus Roddy, which probably one of my favorite live experience, which is like the fans, the fans behind us were going ape shit for backbreakers. Yeah, that's all they wanted. And uh, like the problem is on TV, they cut out that most set. And like, so like, if you watch the DVD, because it'll be on the whole thing we got the DVD, but like the fans are chanting for backbreakers. How did they cut it out of TV? Because like they went to a commercial and when they come back, he did the uh, Roddy to the backbreaker, which caught the whole crowd to go, yes. Uh, and like you missed the whole build up to it, so. Dang. Yeah, it was it was awesome, and you know that was really really great to see it like one of Davy's last matches in ROH because he's a great wrestler and one of my fa a guy who actually really got me into Ring of Honor when I started watching in 2011. Mm -hmm. And a guy who could still is still one of the best wrestlers oh, in the world. Hell yeah, watch his POG stuff, man. He's awesome. Um, saw a fantastic match between Jimmy Jacobs and Adam Cole. Um, Yet again, another just awesome yeah. match. Uh, hard to tell if it was better than the first match from. I'd say on par. Um, if it was better, it was because of the story added yeah. stipulation with yeah. the belt involved, honestly. Yeah. Uh, but um, fun show. You know, uh, we enjoyed it. Yeah, um, lots of... It was, with the way that they're taping now, uh, they're doing television yeah. tapings at all the shows, so there was a lot of shit to sit through. Yeah. But on DVD, I'm, I'm sure a lot of that yeah, yeah. won't be there. Um, I'd hope so. But, like, one thing I, was, I want to comment on that is, like, them doing it on TV, that's, that's a really cool idea. Only problem is, like, they should be releasing the DVDs first and then airing it on television. Because they haven't released the DVDs for the shows yet. And it's like, why would you really show it on television first and then release it on DVD? Like, shouldn't it be the other way around? Seems like it, yeah. You know, that's just my opinion. Like, and maybe there's it might be harder to keep up that way, but... Could be, and, and, and uh, maybe it's because, maybe it's like, there's another reason for doing it. I don't know. Who knows? Sure. Um, but yeah, but again, best of luck to Eddie and Davey. You know, American Wolves were a great tag team, and uh, well, hopefully the American Pitbulls, if that's what they're going to be called in NXT. That's a cool idea. That's a cool idea. You know, I, I wouldn't mind it. Like, they kind of build them up as, like, uh, like the the like the British Bulldogs, yeah. you know, just you know, badass tag team. Makes it's, sense. Yeah, David Richards is like the dynamite kid. But uh, the Dearborn show is worth checking out. I oh think. yeah, absolutely. And I heard the Cleveland show is pretty good too. Um, and, uh, and actually, uh, the Davy, the Eddie Lethal match, the Davy Roddy match, and the Adam Cole Jimmy Jacob match are all on television, so you can watch those now on the ROH site. Um, speaking of guys possibly leaving Ring of Honor, there's some guy concerned that Roddy, uh, Mister ROH. Might be leaving the company. Really? Now this is just this is all speculation, but like some people are saying, like he's not under contract right now, hmm. and that's why he's getting, getting can do bookings for FIP and Evolve. I'm hearing from other people that like that like ROH and Gabe came to an understanding, like they're gonna let him work for shows or whatever, you know, just to get more, just to let him go book more. I guess I don't know. Who knows? You know, I think that um, we're gonna reach a point in independent wrestling. And I don't know. I guess if you want to call ROH an independent, even though they're more of a regional, but uh, that we're going to see guys refuse contracts and say, you know, I'm going to work anywhere. And so these these companies are going to have to start to get along. Yep. I know. Because the guys are there's no reason to be locked down into contracts. Yeah. Where these guys need to make money. The, the they young families, the, you know, the young bucks are the smartest two guys in wrestling because they're they found it out. It, it's like it's like we're not going to sign contracts. And guess what? They're being booked in PWG, Dragon Gate, Evolve, New Japan, ROH. They were getting titles. Everywhere. They're getting yeah. titles without them. Yeah, they're, you know, like they're like the biggest tag team in the world right now, and they're not under contract, and that's like the smartest thing you can do. So the, we might see another exciting age in indie wrestling. Hope I would, especially with um, the sounds like uh, WWE is going to peel back on uh, signing so many independent names. Yeah, because they got a lot of guys right now. Yeah, so enough. I think that uh, we might see another the next wave. Yeah, I really dude. hope so. Well, the thing is, but like, the company's got to get their shit yeah, together. Yeah, but like, uh, Roddy being booked in the FIP and a ball, that's pretty big. Um, again, if he leaves our way, that would really suck. That'd be sad, yeah. That'd be sad, because I love Roddy, and, um, 
and I don't really watch. And he's usually good for a damn good match. Yeah, usually. And uh, I don't really like if I, uh, anything from WWE Live right now since they fucked me over with that whole ordering issue, which is fixed now, but still pissed me it's off. Took like, what a month? Oh, like a fucking month. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we'll see. But like you know, yeah, you're talking about like you know, Boom Age and independent wrestling, you know. And like you know, you see companies like AAW and AIW like start to pop up and like suddenly become like and talk big about names are going to these. Yeah, uh, Kevin Steen actually recently went to AI AAW for the first time and won the world title or so the heavyweight title. So you know he's coming back. You know yep. he's going to be more of a regular there. Yeah, which and that's I, a promotion that we've talked about before. I fucking love that company. That company has some of the best unsound talent in the world right now. Shane Hollister is a fucking main eventer in the making. This is a guy who needs to be signed because he is fucking awesome. Yeah, he's great. I'm shocked that he's not even on like dark matches in the no mid kidding. In, in the Midwest. Why? You know, like, you know, why would you come to you know Chicago area all the time? Book this dude. Really? You think he wouldn't show up for a, a dark match? I mean, he'll show up there just to sh just to be just to, for a chance to be in a dark match. So I and this is one of these guys that. I mean, you're booking guys like Gowan. Like, yeah. Get Hollister on. Book on Hollister. The phone. Yeah, that, we love that guy. You know, that guy is seriously one of my favorite wrestlers right now. I love. And there's so many things that we you could do with him. I mean, oh. he, he you could he's a tag. He would be great in a tag team. Yeah. He is great. I would look for a mid Carter. You know, he could build him up, and you know, he can wrestle like a mid eventer. He can. He has had matches with mid, with guaranteed mid eventers like Elgin and Sammy Callahan and Jimmy Jacobs, and he had great matches. And. Steen. And Steen. You know, which I think that's going to be helpful a lot, is that Steen had a great match with him. I think Steen might help. I might see him in PWG. Dude, I would, I would that. love that. Dude. St yeah, Steen is like the ambassador for the Indies right now. Like, he's a, like if you have a match with Kevin Steen, it was a good, and it's a good match, and he likes you, there's a good chance you're going to get a book somewhere. So mm -hmm. hopefully that means a lot for him. Um, Monster Mafia, which I I fucking love these two guys. Uh, Ethan Page and Josh Alexander. Two very, very big guys. I mean, Ethan Page looks like a guy who the WWE should be signing. Like, he looks like a WWE guy. And he can, they are agile dudes. They've been booked for a few Ring of Honor shows. They're Canadian, so they have a lot of trouble getting across the border. I guess it's gotten worse, and uh, so yeah. their bookings in the U.S. are probably going to get trimmed back for a while. Probably. Little, and uh, they, sort that they're, they're, like, they're really working on getting visas right now. It's it's unfortunate. I mean, it really does suck, especially because like, the Super Smash Bros. basically got blackballed from the U.S. because of that whole issue. Are they still? They're still dealing with that shit. That's terrible. That sucks. Which I really hope that in 2014 they, they fix that shit because I've missed Super Smash Bros. Right. and POG shows. Um, Lewis Linden I, is a great, another great, really good one. Lansing guy, actually, and uh, he's really yeah. talented. Uh, Matt Fidget, I think, is like the next Evan Bourne. Just seriously talented high flyer. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of other guys, too. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of some. But, and now, these guys are small. Small dudes, yeah. Small yeah. guys, uh, they're, they, oh. they have a very indie look. To yeah. me, these look like guys that are about to, in a couple years, they'll be the next yeah. indie guys. Oh, no, 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 no. Zero Gravity. Like, these two really, really small guys. Like, they're like five foot tall, but like they're really good high yeah. flyers. Yeah, those guys are good. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, Ethan Page, and, or Shane Hollister and uh, the Monster Mafia, like, they need to be signed by Ring of Honor. Like, they are two, they are three guys I think would really help that company. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and... Seriously, and plus they're really. I mean, we're not talking about fly-ins here. No, they're, they're you know they're, you know Shane Hoss lives in lives in like like right at in Iowa or whatever, mm -hmm. and like that's pretty close to like where Ring of Honor usually hangs out. Sure, and I mean Tyler Black made the the yeah yeah he was friends with Tyler Black, so there you go yeah, but uh, yeah so we're really looking forward to um, like what could happen because like, I would really I would love to see an, an indie boom period. It'd be great, yeah, especially with the way that. Uh, mainstream wrestling has taken quite a hit lately. Yeah, especially TNA. I mean, TNA, we're, we're, we're not even watching TNA at this point. That's the thing. Like, did, I was thinking about our last Running the Ropes. Did we? I don't think nope. we talked about TNA. <laughs> we're hearing nothing to talk about. They ain't uh, doing shit. The thing is, they're still running the AJ storyline. He's still not back. Nope. They're um, running, he's probably going to be back till next year. I'd love to see him in ROH, but I doubt it. I'm doubt not crossing it. my fingers about that. Yeah. But uh, really, what... There's really nothing going on. In they got they got this, this world, you know they got this world title tournament whatever going on, but uh, it's like I don't really care. I don't either. So, yep. Oh, so um, let's, uh, I want to talk about this. We got our at the end of the year's coming up, and we got our talk about start planning our our award show basically. That's right. We got to plan our categories, which we're gonna do that. We we love doing those. But yeah, yeah we that's, all. That's my favorite videos. Too. Yeah, we we, I, we love doing those. Those are fun. Yeah. Um, I don't think we're doing it in your basement this year, though. That was fucking cold. 
Fine. Um, so we got that going. I'm probably gonna make, probably gonna like start planning like which award we're gonna do. We will definitely be doing a top ten of the year. We're actually even doing a top ten this year because like I think uh, top ten matches. Yeah, top ten matches match of the year. Um, we were we were doing top five, but the problem is three out of the five would be Okan and Tanahashi. Right. So and the fourth one is another New Japan match. So yeah. for our all, strictly North American fans, <laughs> I'd like to get a couple <laughs> matches they would recognize. Yeah. So uh, we're, we'll do that. Well, I think everyone watches New Japan. They should watch New Japan. Um, That's true. We're also going to be doing our top our top five best and worst things in wrestling, which I really like doing that because I think it's fun. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe we'll do another video like we're just talking about like the past year or something. I don't know. If, I don't fucking know. But uh, we will definitely be doing a series of videos to celebrate the end of the year. And uh, yeah, so people have really people like been asking like, are you going to do that? Are you do that? It's like, yeah, yeah, we're going to do it. Relax. <laughs> and um, also, if if we get to 100 subscribers, I'll be taking a chop to the chest. He's excited about that. Gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. I know. Oh it's, man. Uh, I don't know if I should add the extra bonus to the thing where it's like if I if we get over a hundred likes, like okay, well every ten I'll pick an additional one. That's a good one too. There. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll, be, well, I'll tell you what. I'll do it. Okay. You know, if, if we get if we get one hundred and ten, I'll take two. If I get one hundred and twenty, one hundred and ten, you'll get an overhand. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I, I I don't know if I should make this a yearly tradition. And like then one hundred and twenty will do a back chop, and then one hundred and thirty will do a face. I'm not taking a back chop. And then forty, I'll chop in the dick. <laughs> how about no? I like how you're willing to volunteer for this shit. Like, what are you and Ju what are you and Justin willing to do? My like, hand has to withstand all these chops. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry for your fucking hand. You know, you, I'm, I'm willing to sacrifice my flesh for this for this studio. What are you willing to do? I have beautiful hands. I don't know what you're talking Man, about here. What the fuck ever? Go get a pedicure, <laughs> manicure, whatever the hell they call. But yeah, please subscribe to us so that I can get a chop to the chest and this guy can, you know, bust his nut over being happy about that. And uh, look forward to those videos, which we'll probably be doing about... Probably. Jan probably. Doing about January 5th. Was that, that was the, that was like exactly a year to when I published the first video, so I'd like to have them out exactly a year later. So, you know, consistent. Nice touch. Yeah. Which we rarely have. No, we're, we're, we're fucking horrible pl planning and shit. Oh, yeah. We still haven't done New Japan. We're way behind, but we're do that. We're like that every time. All right, take care, guys. Bye. <laughs>